Yesterday, I played the second Brawl Stars monthly qualifiers for North America. After we came second at Worlds last year, we followed that up by not even qualifying for month number one. We weren't even top eight in points, and coming into month two, we had to qualify and do well in the monthly final in two weeks. We faced who has unfortunately been our rival, LG, at the end of qualifiers, and I'm going to show you guys how the matches went. So going into match one, we played Goalkeeper's Dream Brawl Ball, and Brawl Ball is a really tough mode for us. LG is known for their Brawl Ball gameplay, and when we faced them all year last year, it was really difficult for us to win. We drafted Carl, Charlie, and Bell. I really like this comp because Carl is really good into all of their brawlers besides Gene. We have the Bell, which is a really good range brawler right now, and Charlie, which is probably the third best brawler in the game behind Melody and Angelo. Now they have Gene, which is really good and obviously is super annoying, has a crazy good pull. Larry and Otis. I'm pretty sure they didn't mean to pick the Otis and took it by accident instead of Amber or something. So that made this also a little bit of a weird draft for them. So with my bell, all I'm really trying to do is hit shots, hold my position, lay the traps, and just hold on as best as I can while our Charlie can put them in the cocoon and our Carl can make aggro plays. And they obviously have a Larry, which is going to try and push us, hide behind the wall. And then the Gene is going to go for pulls and they try and make a play. I like our comp a lot more though, because I think Bell is probably the best range brawler on the map. I think Charlie is the best brawler on the map and Carl is the best aggro on the map. So I feel like we kind of have a mix of everything. Sans here has a crazy hypercharge play where he puts someone in the cocoon, gets another two kills. And while he does that, Zar is charging a super. So I didn't really do anything. I kind of just picked up the ball and gave it to Sands, but he had an incredible pop-off play right there, and that gave us our first goal. So now, Zar has super, and we're trying to match him on the thrower lane, because the thrower can't do anything to a Carl when he has super. So I think right around here, he's going to gadget up. Chino is going to miss his pull, and then here we just have way too much pressure. He's going to get the kill on Charles, or I mean Patchy, and then we're going to get a really nice quick goal right there. Going into game two, we wanted to tweak our strategy a little bit, so we knew that they would switch lanes because they didn't want the Carl to be laning the Larry. So we kind of just had everyone hover around the mid to start off. Patchy gets really low because of the lane switches. And obviously, like I said, Bell is the best range brawler. So he dies immediately. Chino tries to make a really good play to clear the ball. But unfortunately, he's not going to be able to. And that's a really, really, really fast goal for us. Then we're going to respawn. And since we scored fast, Sans decided he's just going to spam pets and kind of run in a straight line. Carl is going to go to the right to try and match up with the Larry. And while they're switching and trying to do a lot, it's just not really working out for them. I hit some shots, so they start bouncing. Zar goes aggro. We get a couple quick kills. And just like that, we win Brawl Ball Game 2 in 40 seconds. And that is going to be the set one right there. Now, going into Game 2, it was a crazy, crazy game and set. This is one of the craziest sets I've played in a really long time. So they first picked Gene, which is a pretty interesting first pick. Again, we took Bell, which is a really big comfort brawler for us. We took Carl 2-3. They took Stu, and as soon as they took Stu, I knew they lacked damage. So as you guys can see right here, I'm just throwing my glove off the wall. I know I'm feeding supers. I know I'm not really doing anything, but I'm distracting them a lot, and that allows Sans to pick up four gems right off the bat. At the same time, Zar is kind of just doing his thing on the left side with Carl. Sans laid out some traps, so we do have a really perfect start. Thing is, though, Patchy kind of realizes that his stew is kind of unkillable. There's no way that me or the Carl could really get a kill on a stew. And Sans has to hit, what is it, three shots, I think, in a row? So it's going to be pretty difficult for Sans as well. So Patchy kind of figures that out as this game progresses, and he starts playing really, really well. I don't know how Sans misses a brawler that's literally standing on a trap, but he does. And I don't know. The game starts to get a lot more even. I think he gets a little bit too close there, but Patchy does whiff a shot, so Sans isn't able or Sans doesn't go down. And then here I'm going to run up. I'm going to pull them. I get my glove back and I thought I can get a kill, but I couldn't. So I just run up and I die. The thing with Sam is you can die a bunch of times. It's not really a big deal. And as long as you're just, you know, applying pressure, it's not really a big deal if you die so many times. So here Sans is doing a really good job. His only goal is really to stay alive. Zar goes in for a crazy play. And because he goes in, I also go in. We're able to get a triple kill and take all the gems. So here I'm just trying to escape. I don't know whether I should take the jump pad or just try and heal. I'm throwing my gloves off the wall. I have no idea how I'm even alive right now. And I right here, like I can't pick up my glove. I don't know why, but I just couldn't pick up my glove there. And so I kind of threw the game. If I just picked up my glove or if I just walk back, we probably win the game. Chino hits a pull. 
we have nine gems and at this point it gets kind of crazy because now patchy's just totally realized if he just exists in the middle of the map there's no way to kill him unless sans hits a bunch of shots czar has super now so we're trying to like combine going in at the same time i'm able to kill charles and then also kill chino so right here i have some gems but on one shot i don't have my glove i can't really get out so my teammates need to pick up a gem but again, Patchy has a really good understanding that my teammates can't really do anything to him. So he's just playing really well, standing in the middle, doing his thing. Sans pops a hypercharge and he's able to get a kill. But again, Patchy is going absolutely insane on his brawler, Stu, which everyone knows is his brawler. I'm trying to create some space so Sans can pick up a gem. But the issue is Chino got the pull. Chino misses it. I pick up the gem, but I'm a Sam. I'm the last person we want with the gem because I'm trying to go insanely aggressive. So we get the next gem spawn here. I know we have to pick it up. Charles tries to go for it, but because I run up, he can't get it. I get it to stop the countdown, but I'm going to die. 14 seconds left. It looks like we're going to lose at this point because we have no more gadgets for any of us. They're walking back to their spawn. But Sans hits one shot, two shots. Zar hits a shot. We go in and we get a crazy team wipe. I'm going to be able to pick up all the gems. All we need is 15. I get 16 because why not have one more? And then I start running the other way. This game was like actually one of the craziest games I've played since Worlds. It probably is the craziest game, to be honest, I've played since Worlds. It almost went the entire duration of the three and a half minutes that Gem allows you to go. But we do take the first game on Gem Grab and move on to Match Point. So going into game two, the thing in the pro scene is that strategies always have to change. So you need to update what you're doing every single game. So you're going to see this game, instead of going lane... Patchy's just going to kind of like hover around in the middle because he's kind of realized he's a little bit unkillable unless Sans hits a lot of shots. I waste my gadget right there and, you know, that kind of just feeds them supers. Sans is hitting a lot of shots now and Carl's doing his thing on the lane. But the thing is, unless Carl has super, he's kind of useless and they're just not feeding him. So they're having a really good start this game. I'm trying to run up on the stew lane. I'm not even trying to hit him. I'm just trying to get HP and run into their spawn. I'm trying to time a play here where I pull them and then my teammates shoot them. Um, we do our best, but unfortunately, I'm not able to get the kill. Chino pulls me and he does use a knockback. So the thing is, if he pulls me there and he uses a knockback, I think that's totally fine. Because I'm just going to respawn. I'm going to run right back up the map and I'm already here. But Chino used his pull. Chino used his knockback. So if he uses them, obviously that allows myself and the Carl to go way more aggro. Again, Chino uses a knockback. That was a really bad super by Zara right there, to be honest. I totally forgot about that. Sans gets a couple nice taps, and now we have bell traps out. So we're kind of trying to, like, bait them into the bell traps. Sans is hitting a bunch of nice shots, and they're kind of just, you know, shooting back and forth or bouncing back and forth between each other, I mean. And now we have Charles marked with all the gems. And the thing with Amber is it has no knockback. It has no stun. So, you know, marked with the gems, it's super easy for myself, the Sam, or Zar, the Carl, to just go and kill the Amber. Zar is going to go in and try and make the play. He is really patient there, which I like. And then I go in on the Gene. He uses his last knockback. But Zar is able to survive on just one HP. I don't know why Sand shoots him. It was just, I guess, a, a love shot right there. And now we have Countdown. So there's three traps in the mid. I just go forward and die so that I can respawn and kind of block with immunity. That's a really good play, by the way, that you guys should probably start doing in your matches. But yeah, that's going to be it. It was a clean 4-0 sweep and a win against Luminosity in which we really needed. Now, don't look at these endgame stats, please. I'm already getting clowned for it everywhere, but that is going to be it for our match against Luminosity. So at the end of quals, there were actually a lot of really good teams that didn't qualify, mainly Luminosity and Space Station Gaming, who are two teams that were ahead of us and were giving us a really hard time in the standings this year. So we have the monthly final coming up, and this is going to be our chance to kind of catch up because we didn't make month one. This year in NA has been absolutely insane, so I'm sure this monthly final is going to be the most insane thing in the world. And if you guys want to watch it, I'm going to make a video about it 100%.